Welcome to another informational video sponsored by Accredited Drug Testing, the nation's leader in drug and alcohol testing. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration's Clearinghouse. The Clearinghouse was mandated by the United States Congress to enhance safety on our public roadways. FMCSA has been required to create this real-time database that will allow CDL operators, trucking companies, employers, FMCSA, and any state driver's license agencies to be able to check this database to determine if a CDL operator has in fact violated DOT's drug and alcohol testing requirements. The FMCSA Clearinghouse will take effect January 6, 2020, and all CDL operators must register with this database at that time. Now, who must comply with the new FMCSA Clearinghouse? It is anyone who holds a commercial driver's license and operates a commercial vehicle on public roadways, any company that employs safety sensitive employees regulated by FMCSA, and any company service agents. Now, the basis for this new database is to ensure that CDL operators do not go to work for another company and fail to tell that current company that they have violated the DOT Part 40 drug and alcohol testing requirements. So effective January 6, employers that are regulated by FMCSA will be able to check this database in real time to determine if the employee that they have hired or are thinking of hiring is in compliance with DOT's drug and alcohol testing requirements and to ensure that they have not had any violations or if a drug or alcohol violation had occurred in the past the FMCSA database will also show if that CDL operator has fulfilled all of the return to duty requirements including the SAP program. Now there's been much discussion about the FMCSA Clearinghouse over the last year or two and it is actually here. January 6, 2020 all people holding a commercial driver's license must register with the FMCSA Clearinghouse. Failure to do so would subject you to penalties including fines. In part two of our FMCSA Clearinghouse informational video, we will discuss who must register with the Clearinghouse, how you report violations to the FMCSA Clearinghouse, and general information about its daily use. Stay tuned for more information regarding the FMCSA Clearinghouse that's coming to you January 6, 2020.